Taylor Swift had a few words for musician Damon Albarn after an interview he did went viral where he claimed Taylor doesn't write her own songs and now basically the entire world is coming to her defense. Let's get into this. Taylor Swift said it best back in 2017. If a man talks shit, then I owe him nothing. And still to this day, sadly, she is one of the many artists who are constantly undermined by the opinion of a man. Case in point, on Monday, her songwriting abilities were severely discredited by rock bands Blur and Gorillaz founder and lead vocalist Damon Albarn after his interview with the Los Angeles Times caught major flack after he discredited Taylor's songwriting and went on to praise Billie Eilish. During the interview, Damon spoke to the reporter about modern musicians and whether they're good because of their sound and attitude versus their talent and lyricism. The reporter then went on to suggest that Taylor Swift is an excellent songwriter, to which Damon replied point blank, she doesn't write her own songs. When are the lies going to stop? But seriously, what? Of all things to try and accuse Taylor of, not writing her own songs is seriously beautiful beyond a joke and a massive insult. We all know that she does, and not only that, but how seriously she takes that part of her music process. The reporter then suggested that of course Taylor writes them, more specifically co-writes them, when Damon continued to fire off his own thoughts, saying that co-writing doesn't count as songwriting. He said, I'm not hating on anybody, I'm just saying there's a big difference between a songwriter and a songwriter who co-writes, and some of the greatest singers I mean Ella Fitzgerald never wrote a song in her life. As if Damon wasn't already in deep enough turmoil at this point, he went on to praise Billie Eilish and her brother Phineas for their songwriting, adding, I'm more attracted to that than Taylor Swift. It's just darker, less endlessly upbeat, way more minor and odd. I think she's exceptional. Exceptional she is, but we don't need to be comparing artists like that. The entire interview was shared via LATimes.com, in which Taylor seemingly got word of and responded to the article link shared by the official LA Times account. She wrote, Damon Albarn, I was such a big fan of yours until I saw this. I write all of my own songs. Your hot take is completely false and so damaging. You don't have to like my songs, but it's really f up to try and discredit my writing. Wow. Our girl did not stutter. And all I'm gonna say is, when you get Taylor cussing, you know she is serious and not happy. And rightly so. You tell him, Tay. She then managed to squeeze in one final message to Damon with another tweet that read, P.S. I wrote this tweet all by myself, in case you were wondering. Yes, queen! Yes! Both Damon and Taylor immediately began trending on social media as thousands of fans and musicians began coming to her defense. Damon immediately responded to Taylor's tweet and issued an apology writing, I totally agree with you. I had a conversation about songwriting and sadly it was reduced to clickbait. I apologize unreservedly and unconditionally. The last thing I would want to do is discredit your songwriting. I hope you understand. Damon. Damon's tweet confused many considering the entire interview was shared with the public and none of his words seemed to be taken out of context. Taylor's musical collaborator Jack Antonoff addressed the situation via Twitter, writing, I've never met Damon Albarn and he's never been to my studio, but apparently he knows more than the rest of us about all those songs Taylor writes and brings in. Adding, if you were there, cool, go off. If not, maybe shut the f he said what he said. Tay's other folklore and Evermore collaborator Aaron Dessner chimed in as well, tweeting, Not sure why you, Damon Albarn, would try to discredit Taylor's brilliant songwriting, but as someone who's gotten to press record around her, your statements couldn't be further from the truth. You're obviously completely clueless as to her actual writing and work process. While it's true that Taylor co-writes some of her songs, many fans also pointed out that one album in particular, Speak Now, was written written entirely and solely by her, just in case anyone needed more proof that she is fully capable of writing her own songs. Some fans even brought up the fact that Billy, who Damon praised for being a songwriter, also mostly co-writes her songs with her brother Phineas. At the time of reporting, Billy has yet to respond to being name dropped by Damon. However, Phineas may have subtly addressed his false remarks with one simple request, stop. 
And when we said the entire world came to Tay's defense, we meant it. The president of Chile also showed our girl support on Twitter, writing, Here in Chile, you have a huge group of supporters who know that you write your own songs from the heart. Don't take seriously guys that need to insult or lie to get attention. Hugs from the South, Taylor. This is major. Taylor likely got the last word here, as there's no need for more back and forth banter. So while the internet collectively continues to defend the rightful songwriter of the century, we'll just be over here listening to the man on repeat. To see what Phineas described as his most embarrassing moment ever that involved Taylor Swift, click right over here for the full rundown. After that, let me know your thoughts on Taylor's epic response to Damon's criticism down here in the comments. Our girl did not hold back and I am so here for this energy. I'm your girl Susan Morad. You can find me on socials at Susan underscore Morad. I'll catch you later.